What if I told you your GPU is only running at 60% of its potential? Well, in the next five minutes, I'm going to show you the exact settings that took me from around 230 frames to more than 400 frames. And during the video, we're not just talking about Windows tweaks, we're also going to be overclocking your GPU. This is how you get more frames. Honestly, if you don't watch this video all the way through, you're leaving frames on the table. Let's get straight into this video. Now, before we get into the video, this is my most advanced video yet. So for this, we're going to be creating a a system resource point so literally search create a resource point click onto it then go on to create a resource point right now press on to create just like so name it anything so i'll just name mine jinshi just like so press create creating a resource point it'll take a second then if anything goes wrong i'm sure it won't don't worry about it then you can obviously go back onto the system resource point and literally press system restore at the end of this video if anything does go wrong but trust me 99 percent of you 0.99 are going to be fine don't worry about it now getting straight into the video the first tweak that we're going to be doing is making sure your GPU is not down clocking its memory cores. Now, this is super, super hard to get to. And remember, this is a very advanced video. And throughout this video, it gets even more advanced. So the first thing that we need to do is look onto your keyboard and press Windows and R until Run pops up. Now, of course, I'm going to do this super slowly. This is very, very advanced. RegEdit is here. Now we press onto OK. Make sure RegEdit opens. Again, this is going to be quite hard to get to, but honestly, we've just got to do it. H key local machine. Bring the this folder down software bring this folder down then we go into microsoft we can bring this folder down then of course you're gonna have to scroll down quite a bit until you see windows nt windows nt bring this one down current version bring this one down then we see multimedia bring that one down i'll scroll this just a tiny bit across for you system profile bring that one down tasks bring that one down games bring that one down and click onto it once we're here i know it's super super tough to get to this is very important now you guys need to follow Follow along with me right here. GPU priority, quickly have a look at its value data. Don't touch anything yet, just have a look at it. Remember the number in your head and also the priority. Look at the value data. So for example, mine was eight and six. If yours is two and two or two and below two, so for, for example, one or zero, you need to change it to six and six. For example, value data, I used to have two. Now we press six. But if your value data is, for example, five and five, you can leave it. Your PC is already optimized with with your GPU cores. And you literally do not need to worry about that tweak right there. Only if your numbers are below two, then you put six and six for GPU priority and normal priority. Then one other thing we need to do whilst we're on here, this tweak is for everyone. Right click on your mouse, go into new D word 32 bit. Once the value is right here, you guys need to copy this exactly how it is. Scheduling category. I'm just literally gonna copy it just like so. I'll try leave it in the description of this video so you guys don't need to mess up at all. Then once you do so, highlight again, right click on to it go on to rename then delete this press paste press enter now for some of you this may come up for 99% this won't come up the specify value name already exists this is because I already have it in my PC literally right here so if you do have it you literally right click onto it delete and if you guys have not done it and just rename the folder now you guys need to follow along with me double left click onto it the value data hi literally simple as this now press ok onto it the data now should say hi right here you do need to restart your PC at the end of this video for this to take into place now what we're going to be doing is overclocking your GPU probably the most important Important part of this video and trust me it's not hard at all we're not going to be using MSI afterburner using our own graphs anything like that we're going to be using AI to overclock our GPU it is so simple to do so literally go onto Google right now and download the Nvidia app it is so useful for your PC just because of this one setting now we're going to load it up just like so then go on to system just like so go on to performance now once we're on performance automatic tuning as you can see I already have it on automatic tuner finds the best overclock settings for your GPU and maintains that performance on a regular basis. So again, you don't need to go on MSI Afterburner and do all that stuff. Literally go on the automatic tuning and turn it on. Most people forget this completely exists and this is the most effective way to overclock your GPU. So literally turn this on and remember this is going to take about 20, 30 minutes. It takes me so, so long, but trust me, it's so worth it. Once you do turn this on, I have one more thing to say to you. I want to quickly tell you about Gear Up. If you've ever struggled with high ping just like me, mind you to be 60 70 all the time you know how annoying it is well the good thing is gear up has a free trial in the description of my video so you can try it out for yourself you've literally got nothing to lose it connects you to the fastest servers in your region finding the best routes for your connection and optimizes your network so your ping drops and your game
gameplay is super smooth. Honestly, if you want lower ping, smoother gameplay, you have to try Gear Up. Free in the description of my video. Now, once you're done with all those tweaks, please do let me know in the comment section if this video did work for you. Honestly, I'm so curious. And also, do leave a like and please do subscribe. It means so, so much to me. And remember to join my Discord server. I'll see you guys on in the next video.